Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make falafel pita sandwiches. So, let's make our falafel mixture. I've got two cans of chickpeas that have been rinsed and drained, a half a cup of fresh parsley, and half a cup of some fresh cilantro. I just took the stems, the stems of the parsley and the stems of the cilantro. Then there I've got four cloves of garlic. We're gonna put about a teaspoon of salt, a little bit of brown pepper to taste, a little sprinkle of some cayenne pepper, about two teaspoons of some ground cumin. And then we're gonna put the lid on and blend it. You want finer pieces, and then we're going to put in two large eggs. And then a half a cup of plain breadcrumbs. We might need a little bit more than a half a cup. I just don't know yet. And two tablespoons of some olive oil. I want to know where it will hold its shape until it balls. I'm going to put a little splash of water in here. Now let's test it and see if it'll hold its shape into some balls. Yeah. So you might need a little bit more water. It just depends. So just a splash or two of water what we used. Maybe a tablespoon. Let me get some stuff prepped and then we'll roll this mixture into balls. Let's make our tahini sauce that we want to go with our fluffle pitas. So I've got a cup of some plain Greek yogurt, two cloves of garlic, some parsley, and some cilantro down in here. Combined is a fourth of a cup. I'm using some stems and some leaves down in here because it doesn't matter in the sauce, it's gonna be blended. Then we need juice of a lemon, a little sprinkle of the pepper, and some salt and our tahini. We need four tablespoons. And that'll be all of this that's left in this jar. All tahini paste is is ground up roasted sesame seeds into smooth paste like peanut butter. And it's got that natural oil too that stays on top like natural peanut butter. So sometimes you gotta stir it up. Now if you don't like a lot of tahini and it's not your thing, then you might want to cut back on it a little bit. We adore tahini. It's good for you too. Alright, I'm gonna get my top on and then we're gonna whiz it in the mini blender. <laughs> This stuff is extra thick, so I added about a fourth cup of some hot water. <laughs> Depends on how thick or thin you want it. This is the consistency we want. And then we're going to taste it, make sure we don't need more salt than pepper. And it does. Or you might want another little garlic clove in there. It's totally up to you. It's like a green mean tahini sauce. Now if you don't like parsley, leave it out and just use cilantro. Or if you don't like parsley or cilantro, put some fresh dill in there. Let's draw our little fluffle balls. Now I'm going to use my air fryer on these. You can do them in the oven, you can deep fry them, or saute them in a little bit of oil and flip them and roll them around until they get done. I'm using one of the mini scoops so they'll all be the same perfect size. You can make them as big or as little as you want. You scooby it, roll it into a ball, and then we're just going to put it in our air fryer basket. Did a couple spritz of some coconut oil in my air fryer basket, popped my little rolled fluffle balls in, did a couple sprays of coconut oil again, and they're going in the fryer. I'm sitting on 355 degrees Fahrenheit, and then I'm going to go for 10 minutes. And then probably shake them at least three times during the cooking process. We might have to go a little bit longer than two minutes. Alright, our little fluffle balls just came out in fire. I've still got another batch to go, but I think this is all I need for today's dinner. So the others I'm going to put on a plate on top of some wax paper. Don't let them touch. Freeze them solid. Then once they're frozen solid, throw them down in a freezer bag. Put them back in the freezer. And anytime I want to make fluffle pitas, I'll just bring them out and pop them in the toaster oven or stick them back in the air fryer to warm them up. So we're going to toast our pitas just like I did the chickpea gyros or chickpea euros. Now these are the pocket pitas. You have to have a pocket pita traditionally used for falafel. And I got these at Walmart and everybody's just going to get one pita because after I toast it I'm going to split it down the middle and it makes two pitas. So I'm just going to toast them and warm them up a little bit in a skillet just for about a minute or two on each side. Just like I did the other non-pocket 
penis for the chickpea gyros or chickpea gyros and then we'll build a fluffle pita now you don't have to toast these you can just eat them right out of the package warm them up in the toaster oven or regular oven okay we take a warm pita we're just gonna cut it down the middle in half and everybody gets two pita halves we're gonna open our little pocket sometimes you have to work with it and we grew your fingers down in here some lettuce chopped up. You can use spinach leaf or any other type of lettuce you would like. A little bit of a bed because we still want to put our other stuff in here. And then we're going to put a slice of tomato that I've cut in half so it makes two little halves. Poke in some red onion and then we're going to put in three little mojito balls and then we're going to take some of our tahini dressing. Just drizzle some over the top as much as you would like. This baby stuff and some cucumber pieces. And there you have it. My version of falafel pita pocket sandwiches. Now, you don't have to use the toppings that I'm using. You can stuff them with any kinds of toppings you want. Everybody's going to get two little half pita halves. And then I got some carrots and celery. They're also going to dip in this lovely tahini sauce too. Along the side. <laughs> 